Yeah, so that's one nut punch pie. Well done. Uh, extra large side of humble fries and um, beer. All of your beer. Talk it, football. <laughs> So here we are, once again, on the wrong side of Super Bowl. Been a while, still feels like shit, but you guys knew the deal. With great risk comes great reward, or a fat kid with uncontrollable gas tap dancing on your soul. Like I always say, when it's Super Bowl, one team tastes the sweetest victory, and the other, macaroni and dick. Never in our wildest dreams did we think we'd see 74 points scored, over a half mile of offense, and... Butler on the bench. In three years, how the hell did Malcolm Butler go from Super Bowl hero to Super Bowl snaps zero? Malcolm go to Malcolm no. Yeah, well now it's gonna be more like Malcolm go to some other team. Oh, irony, you cruel one-eyed bitch on ice. Who the hell knows what reasons led to Butler not playing in the Super Bowl? But you can't blame it all on him. I mean, you can. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can slather yourself naked in Nutella and go unicycle riding in Times Square for all I care. But you win and lose as a team. The coaching, the tackling, Butthole City as far as the eye could see. And now I'm left in Butthole City for the rest of the winter. <sighs> and my flight got canceled. Hey. Props to Philly for a championship performance. Foles was gold, they hit their spots, and when their D needed to make a play, the Philadelphia Eagles, the only team to ever give up 600 yards of offense in an NFL game and win. And it was in the Super Bowl against the Pats. Ain't that a barrel of pebbles and cat shit. What a strange fucking year. A season bookended by the two worst defensive performances of Belichick's coaching career. And yet at the end, there they were, within striking distance of the repeat. Ah, tech. I'm just here so I won't get fined. <laughs> Super Bowl 52 was such a mix of the strange and spectacular, the dynamic and disappointing, that will probably live like an unwanted in-law in the basement of our memories for years to come. Pretty sure I'd rather watch my dad bang my wife than ever see a replay of that game. But let me just say this, if you love Tom Brady as much as I do, scientifically impossible as it may be, then Sunday you were proud as hell. The oldest quarterback to ever start a Super Bowl maybe gave the greatest performance by a quarterback in a Super Bowl. He gave it his all and then some. And today, tomorrow, the day after that, and a whole shitload of days after that, you should be proud as hell to have him as quarterback and wear his jersey. Even though you're an adult wearing the jersey of another man who's probably like younger than you. Turns out time didn't get to Tom. His own D did. I mean, his team's D. I mean, you know what, I, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Son of a bitch. And by the way, anyone who tries to play the whole Brady's only five and three in his eight Super Bowls card on you can eat gummy dick rope from Boston to Beijing. How many Super Bowls have you been in, ass face O'Reilly? But just think, there's children all over New England that haven't seen a Super Bowl victory, let alone a championship for any Boston sports team in over a year. Ah, the humanity. Do you have any idea how many other NFL fan bases would love to be feeling what you're feeling right now? Probably 30. Well, maybe 29. I mean, I don't know if Browns fans technically have feelings anymore, so. So Philly takes the title and lives out a citywide celebratory sequel to The Purge. Meanwhile, in New England, we're stuck at home watching Shithole Lining's playbook. Yeah, that was Super Suck Bowl 52, but guess what? Patriots are already Super Bowl 53 favorites. Right side, motherfucker! For sweet tweets, inappropriate in-game finalysis, merchandise links, live shows, radio, and so much more, be sure to follow your old pal Fitz across the socials, at FitzyGFY. Belichick's a flaming hoodie of pissed. Gronk will return, and you know Brady is somewhere right now not eating banana tips, becoming more pliable than ever. Unlike Patricia and McDaniels, those guys will be back. Cheers and beers to the department coordinators. Good luck, guys. Except, of course, when you play the pass this upcoming season. It's when I hope Brady throws for 505 yards in each half against you. The season may be, but the guys you need to see back playing football in Foxborough, they, much like your love of Pats, not done. Okay, Pats pals, till we meet again, this is your old pal Fitz saying, it is what it is, and it is a pretty shitty feeling right now. But you know what? It hasn't always been, and it won't be again. So, all right, goodbye. Go fuck yourself. Go Pats.